we're told that the Israel lobby doesn't exist. We're told we shouldn't even mention the words the Israel lobby. So much so that a local Labour candidate was removed from the constituency on the basis that she retweeted something referencing the Israel lobby on the very same day that a professional Israel lobbyist was parachuted in to a Labour seat over 200 miles away from where he lives. The Israel lobby exists, it's real, and it's coming to a parliament near you. Our parliament should not be a space for professional lobbyists of a foreign state. Keir Starmer goes to great lengths to talk up his patriotism and putting country first. But what country? When Keir Starmer was director of public prosecutions, there was only one foreign state attorney that he met with, and that was Moshe Lador. Starmer accepted gifts and hospitality from Israel's state attorney. And two months later, Starmer intervened to block the prosecution of Sipi Livni, Israeli war criminal that was wanted for arrest in this country for her crimes in Gaza in 2008 and 2009. Keir Starmer was very evasive when asked who funded his leadership campaign. Labour Party members who are being asked to vote for you should know who's bankrolling your campaign. That is why the Labour Party and set up those rules. But you won't was, tell us. The other the candidates in this contest have published who is bankrolling their campaign. You seem to be hiding be behind this process. Why won't you simply tell us tonight who are your five biggest donors? We can reveal that Keir Starmer's leadership campaign was actually bankrolled by arch-Israel lobbyist Trevor Chin. Chin is the president of one of Israel's national institutions, the UJIA, which funnels money into settlements and has even been found to bring students from this country on trips to stay in illegal settlements in the West Bank. Trevor Chin is also on the executive board of BICOM, Israel's largest lobby group in this country, which is the parent organization of Luke Akehurst's we believe, in Israel. BICOM today is currently headed by Richard Pater, who is a reserve in the Israeli military and formerly was employed by the Israeli Prime Minister's office. It is from there that Luke Akehurst has launched his own Israel lobby group. Luke Akehurst was a consultant for arms firm Finn Mechanica, now known as Leonardo, which has billions of pounds worth of deals with the Israeli military. Luke Akehurst was mentioned by Israeli political officer at the embassy, Shai Massoud, in the Al Jazeera documentary, The Lobby. So Luke Elkas is the director of We Believe in Israel. He's one of the best in the inside, in all the party. There is, seriously, there's not a lot of people like him. This individual could very well be a minister of state 